hard to imagine a topic of more importance to the continued prosperity of Suffolk County than the protection of our underground aquifer system, the source of all our drinking water. But the truth is, it's hard to get people excited about groundwater protection. Maybe it's because our aquifer system is deep underground and out of sight. Maybe it's because of the scientific complexity of the issue. But for whatever reason, it's a challenge to get people to understand just how precious and unique this resource is. It's not for a lack of trying. We've tried poster campaigns. We've tried person-to-person -person contact. Hi, can I talk to you about nephilometric turbidity? We've even tried song. And we need to talk about hexachlorocyclopenadine. No, please, please, don't pour them down the drain. But we're just not sure enough people are taking the threats to their drinking water seriously. So let's hear what some local experts in the field of environmental protection, including our own Chief Sustainability Officer, Carrie Meek Gallagher, have to say about the importance of various ways of protecting our vital groundwater supply. A critical element in protecting our groundwater is the preservation of open space. Dick Amper, Executive Director of the Long Island Pine Barren Society, has been a key partner of ours for years in advocating for the preservation of open space. Hi, Dick. Kerry, okay. you're right. All of Suffolk's water comes from a network of underground aquifers, and we can't overstate the importance of protecting it from contamination. So, Dick, can you explain for our viewers the role of open space preservation in protecting this vital resource? Sure. Let's take the Pine Barrens, for example. The Pine Barrens boast the greatest diversity of plant and animal species anywhere in the state of New York, but they also boast the greatest quantity of the purest drinking water as well. So what we want to do is prevent the kind of development that brings contaminants into the groundwater. It can be lawns, it can be houses, it can be agriculture, business or industry. And so Suffolk County voters have approved more money to preserve open space to protect our drinking water than more than 45 of the 50 states in the union. Another potential threat to our aquifer system is contamination by pharmaceutical drug and personal care products. And though these substances have not yet shown up in significant amounts in Suffolk, the Suffolk County Water Authority is voluntarily testing for these contaminants, and groups like Citizens Campaign for the Environment, whose executive director, Adrian Esposito, is here with me today, are addressing the issue. Yes, that's right, Carrie. Prescription drugs, common household cleaners, and even personal care products all can and do contaminate our drinking water supplies. Unfortunately, our sewage treatment plants and our septic systems are not designed to filter out those contaminants. So tell us how right here in Suffolk, we're leading by example in proper disposal. Well, two great ways. The first is that all the hospitals and healthcare facilities are required to once a year craft a plan for safely disposing of unwanted and unused medicine. The second is that all the county police precincts have lock boxes where the public can bring 24 hours a day, seven days a week, their unwanted and unused prescription medicines for safe disposal, which then goes to incinerator. These are two good first steps. However, we need the public's help. So remember, please don't flush unwanted drugs and please don't pour toxics down the drain. Products you use on your lawn can also be significant contributors to contamination. Kevin McDonald of the Nature Conservancy is here with us today, and he's gonna tell us how we can get a nice green lawn without using conventional herbicides and pesticides. Thank you, Carrie. Everybody wants to present their property nicely to the community. There's three things that folks can do to keep their property maintained in an environmentally responsible manner. The first is, if you're going to cut the grass, keep it at least three inches tall, that way you can promote deep root growth. The second is if you're going to irrigate, irrigate every few days for a longer duration, that helps promote deep root growth. And the third is if you're going to put anything on your lawn, avoid using toxic pesticides and herbicides because that can get into the groundwater. So as you can see, everything we do on our land and in our homes impacts our groundwater, which is our sole source of drinking water here in Suffolk County. If you're still on a private well, please get it tested regularly to make sure the water is safe to drink. Or call us and find out how to hook up to a water supply that is pure safe and constantly tested. So from all of us here at the Suffolk County Water Authority and the environmental community, we have one simple request to ask of you. Please. Please. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Please, join us and help to preserve our most precious resource. Do it for our kids.
and our kids' kids, and our kids' kids' kids. Okay, Jim. And our kids' 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 okay, kids' we're done. kids. It's important.